My name is Mary. I am 25 years old. I am from College Station, and this is Financial Audit. What do you do in College Station for a living right now? I am a pool cleaner, and I am a Papa John's driver part-time. Ooh, okay. Interesting. So what got you into that line of work? Pool cleaning? Yeah. My boss. I have the greatest bosses in the whole entire world, but I used to be a waitress at Cracker Barrel. Mm -hmm. I met them. They worked for another pool company. They worked really, 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 really hard. And I was like, ooh, I like that. I want to work for y'all. And they were like, "Mm, you probably couldn't do it. And I was like, "Mm, I bet I could because it's a lot harder than people think it is. It's a very physically and mentally demanding job. Um, But so... I left that job. I kept in contact with them, proceeded to work my butt off when I got to Papa John's, settled down there, started working like 75 hours a week. And I was like, I'm going to work for y'all. And one day they started their own company. They got super, super busy. So they worked for another pool company when I first met them. And then they opened their own pool company. And I was like, you're going to let me work for you. Okay. And they're like, no, no probably not. I'm like, no, you're going to like, I'm going to show you I can work for y'all. So one day they got busy enough and they were like, okay, come part time. You're going to work on commercial pools. So that's what I specifically work on is like apartment and like, um, and I've slowly gotten into residentials, but I won. I got the job. So well, good for you. (laughs) What, what, how many hours a week do you work with that job? Uh, That job? I, we're on a pretty set schedule right now. I probably do like eight to five 30. Oh, every day? Yeah, I have... And then how many at the Papa John's? Uh, I'm there 23 hours. Jeez, that's a lot of working. What are you making like from the pool? Say, I'm, I bring in eight seventy seven after taxes every Friday. So well, 1000 before taxes. Eight, oh, oh, well, 877 so is not... Is what drops into my account every Friday. Oh, mm-hmm. okay, so... So 1000 before just tax. Just from the pool cleaning? Yes. It's an average of... Three thousand eight hundred dollars a month, one broken out between some of the longer ones and long, some of the shorter ones, hitting your account. Okay, very good. And then with the Papa John's, what are we making? On a low average, six hundred a month. Okay, okay. Before taxes? Yes. No, with, no, 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 no. After. after. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So you're doing okay. All right. So, what would you say your financial picture looks like from your perspective right now? And then give yourself a score, zero out of 10. Um, probably like a two or a three. Not, mm. I'm, I didn't know savings and emergency fund mattered. The only reason, I, I didn't know it was a thing. Um, I, financials and my growing up wasn't a thing. Um, like my mom's okay. never had a job in my whole entire life. Interesting. Um, my dad's always had a job, but he was never good with money. So he was always just winging Classic it. Classic America. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then he recently just got married and this, the, his, my stepmother and him have gotten a lot better with their finances mm-hmm. and they're just kind of doing their own thing. Um, my financials have grown um, and I've always been great at paying the bills. Just nothing outside of that. Where are you at today though? I'm okay. I don't, I'm good at paying my bills. Okay, so... But no savings. Minimums no. are met. Yes, and that's about it. Like, and used to an emergency to me was like, I could buy a car battery. And that's yeah. where I'm at. Like, if I had to buy a car battery tomorrow, I could. Okay. And that was an accomplishment for me. Um, but I recently just got custody of two kids. And Whoa. I kind of have to think about them. Um, so... Uh, were they your biological kids? No. Okay. Um, I ended up getting custody of my two youngest brothers. Oh. So they are six and seven. I've oh, now wow. had them for about a year and five months, but it's become a little bit more permanent. Their parents just got their rights terminated, so it's looking a more official, long term. Are they living end. with you? Yes. Do you have a significant other? Not that lives with me. Not that lives with you? Yes. Okay, so pretty early days yes. for that relationship, relatively? Um, I mean, we've been together for a year and a couple months. Okay, so pretty. So, yeah. Okay. Um, he lives He lives in Arlington, so he's still, we're still separated on most aspects. So you're um, now fully taking care of two children. What are their ages? Six and seven. Seven-year-old's going on eight. Young. Okay. I also have a grandmother that lives with me. What? How old is she? She is 
mm, like 69, 70. Not to trash talk. I, I definitely don't want to your parents or anything like that, but what's going on? They're not taking t- care of their pay- parents. They're not taking care of their kids. What's up? What's happening? So my grandmother that's living with me mm-hmm. is my mom. So the boy's mom. So the boys are my brothers. Oh, they're that your brothers. That I ended up having yeah, to yeah, take yeah. in. Wait, but it's not your grandma then? It's yes. your mom? Yes, it's my grandma. Well, okay. So the boys that I have yeah. are my brothers? No, I got that one. We yeah. all were birthed by the same woman? Yeah, well, why, why aren't, well, what happened there? I want to take a brief moment to thank today's sponsor, Policy Genius. If you have someone relying on your income, then you need life insurance. It's that simple. Policy Genius is the one stop shop to find the policy you need at the right price. If you have a family, you know how much your loved ones depend on you. In a worst case scenario, you wouldn't want them to worry about money. A good life insurance plan can give you the peace of mind that if something happens to you, your family will have a safety net to cover mortgage payments, college costs, or other expenses so they can get back on their feet and focus on what's most important. And sometimes the policy you get through your workplace is not enough to cover your family needs or you might not have it after you leave that workplace. Policy Genius was built to modernize the life insurance industry. Their technology makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from America's top insurers in just a few clicks to find your lowest price. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $25 a month for $1 million of coverage. Some options offer coverage in as little as a week and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Their licensed agents work for you, not the insurance companies. That means they don't have an incentive to recommend one insurer over the other, and you know you can trust their guidance. There are no added fees, and your personal details are always private. So no wonder they have thousands of five-star reviews on Trustpilot and Google. You deserve to find the right life insurance policy for you, so go to policygenius.com forward slash Caleb Hammer or check out the link in the description below. Uh, The case page says medical neglect okay. possible drugs mm. which is definitely drugs she's probably never going to see this so i can say she's on drugs because we're on the chance of her seeing this yeah okay and the grandma is um, the mother of which parent my mom okay. so the one that lost her kids yeah. um she came to with me because i was not i couldn't just fully take on two kids with like no child care or anything because cps was not funding them at all so they received zero help for like the first seven or eight months I had them or something. Um, so Nana moved in with me, so I had childcare because they also were not in school the first four months that I had them. Mm. So I went from, and at that time I was working 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then I was handed two kids. Yeah, so you're out there saving lives essentially. So Nana had to move with me to help with that. Um, and then so is she, is she, she's helping with the kids? Nana, yes. She hasn't had to as much. We're on a better schedule with the boys and like after school, we're on a pretty yeah. set schedule. I have them and stuff. They're pretty well, there's going to also be like summer vacation yes. coming up and stuff. Um, I, I found summer school care, um, school, but not summer school. Costs money? Yes. Or? But I found the most affordable one that I think is government programmed. Pro- What's it going to pro- cost you? It was 200 for the whole summer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fabulous. I already paid for it. Got it out of the way. As far as childcare goes. I mean, yes. that's insanely and incredible. There will only be, so it's a nine week thing, but I think they're out for one week. Um, the original one I was looking at was 17, almost $1,800. Um, but I had to pay it like all right then and there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, mm, I, I can't, that. I literally can't. You have car battery money, but we don't have that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> not yeah. At the time, I maybe did, but then it was gonna put me at like three hundred, and then I was gonna feel like I was at that point where I was like, uh, well, with this situation, this means I really want you to have an emergency fund more than almost yeah, anyone. That's what made me. There's two people you're taking care of now. Mother's out of the picture. Where's dad? Uh, my dad's doing his own thing. You know, he's married. Has a just got a house. Just, yeah, he's okay. he's living a. And he's not helping with the kids. No, because they're, they're not his kids. Uh, different kids. Yeah, uh, is the father of those child. kids providing child support? He just pled guilty to ten years in prison. Right. So no. <laughs> what, did you, what did he do? It doesn't matter. But what did I he do? I honestly do not know. I don't know what he pled guilty to. So oh. I, it's either along the lines of theft or evading. Um, I know that he was on the run for like six months, um, and it physically got out of police hands at least three times. Like the police had him in his grip. And he got away somehow. One one time he ran around town naked for like four days on the run. 
Like they showed up at the house he was at and was like, hey, we're here to get you. He was in the shower and said, oh, okay, I'm naked. Hold on. They shut the door. He jumped out of the window naked oh, and was out for like four days. And then they ended up finding him in my grandma's attic. Oh my God. I think. Um, so yeah, it's really hard when the boys ask me because I can't tell them. Like I, I, it's not my place to do that. At some point, maybe, but they're really yeah. young. Yes. Um, wow. Well, jeez. How are they doing? They're better. Much better. It has been a progress. My youngest one, when I first got him, he didn't talk very much. Um, his vocabulary and just the fact that he can count has gotten has grown so much. His teacher Good. said that he loved to learn. That was a big deal. Um, my oldest has a lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe has some other, I don't want to say issues, but I don't know how else to say it. Like he has a habit of like eating everything. So like I had a problem mm. with him eating chapstick. Mm. Um, like okay. there was one time I gave him chapstick cause he has chapped lips and I was like, Hey, chapstick, here you go. I'm ooh, sorry. I'm going to line it up how I line up my chapstick in my room. Like these are chapstick. You put it on your lips and you're chapped. Next day, a couple of days I went in there, all six tubes were empty. And I was like, where did the six tubes of chapstick go? He ate all of them. Have they received any mental health care yes i finally got it set up because it took a long time for their stuff to go through and then i did finally find a therapist for Good. them then they canceled on them no. <laughs> so they were going for a couple we did it for a couple months and it was great he came every saturday they looked forward to it um but then he called and he was like i'm so sorry i can't come today they just told me that i'm i just can't they canceled y'all's insurance. And I'm like, okay. So Do you have insurance? Do you have insurance? I do not have insurance. No, the boys you... have insurance though. So the boys are covered. They okay, so have, have you been insurance. seeking trying yes, to find other okay. the, they sent me recommendations to people to go to. Um, the oldest. He has been receiving therapy from somebody from A and M. Okay. So but she's only gonna be temporary. So she's she's up for like the month. Um, like after school in. So I'll have to look for something definitely during the summer for sure. But that lady's been doing lovely with him. She, she's been great. All right. Well, we need to get into your finances uh, and see where things are. But this, I mean, this has set up quite the situation. Um, so thank you for all that context. And thank you for subscribing because we're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. Let's get into your stuff. Do we have two months of this chase? Is this the same account? Uh, yes, it's do? the same account. But again, I didn't know how the statements worked. But okay. whenever you had asked for them, which would was like a week or two ago, mm -hmm. it was only the 14th. So I didn't know at what point they okay. it showed the statements. Well, it just does like the last... 30 days, you could do the most recent. So this one's the most recent that I have here. Okay. We started with $1,336. $7,000 came in. I mean, that's that's way beyond what we have here. Yeah. So we'll see what that's about. But oh, I received $785 a month for the boys. Oh, plus an additional yes. $785? Yes. Okay, very good. And $6,000 went out, then an additional $2,000 went out, plus fees of 5 bucks. Because you probably didn't have the minimum balance necessary, and four hundred fifty dollars is all that was left at the time of the statement. Okay. So yes, money that came in. Well, we had deposits. It's a deposit of nine thirty. It doesn't say what it's from. There is payroll that I'm seeing, but nine thirty deposit. It's probably Papa John's. Okay. I get paid off of in payroll. Payroll. Well, Direct Texas deposit of one fifty seven of some kind. You know, and then instant payroll, that's probably yes. Papa John's. So I and don't then know that, what that, that other one, the 157 you just said, yeah. that was Papa John's. Okay, but what's the 930? It just says deposit. I probably deposited that. Where'd you get it from? With cash. It's probably cash that I'd been saving. So you save up cash on the side? No, I probably saved up cash because I was going on a trip. Okay. And there's the family thing. There's some payroll. Payroll. Okay. Cool. So this is a little over 30 days, actually, so that may be why there's some extra money. Oh, just barely. I'm trying to think of when that... This is April? It's probably the end of March and April. Uh, yes, it's March, April. Okay, so I went... We went on a birthday, anniversary birthday trip for three days with my me, my partner, and his parents. Okay. So Fazoli's we're doing, we're got renting a car. That was for the trip, most likely. I get it. Yes, I got 
Did I get money? When did you take custody? I, it has become more permanent the last two months, but I have had them in my care for the last year. You're going out to eat a lot. Mexican restaurant, frozen custard, SeaWorld. That was probably, you know, the trip again, SeaWorld, 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 SeaWorld stuff. And Little Caesars, Texas Roadhouse, Sonic drive through Old Navy. And there's, That's of course, things close. you're going to have to get for the kids, especially now that they're newly under your care. But uh, cardboard coffee and Mexican restaurant and five stars and tequila and coffee. Brookshire? Yeah, the Brookshire Brothers. Yeah, okay. And coffee and Wendy's. Stripes, I don't know what that is. Gas station. That's gas station, okay. Yeah. It's $4, though, so I don't think that's gas. Sally Beauty, coffee. You get coffee a lot. Yes. Yeah, because this is like almost every day, every other day. Yes. And the Brookshire, and we're getting some cheap things from Stripes constantly as well. That's because that's my, most of the time, it's my only access to a bathroom. You paid sometimes to the yes. bathroom. Yes, only I always, bathroom? like, I'll oh. get like a water or something because I, I drive for my at pools. Okay. So I don't you don't have, have to access. pay to use the bathroom. Though. No, but when you go into a gas station, sometimes well, don't it spend money. No, it depends on your situation. It depends on your situation whether it's bad or not. We need to get a full. Picture. I do have a couple gas stations that I have to like. They will not let me use it. The stripes well, most of the time ones. I can get away with it. Well, it might be my. It's my only one in that area. I can't leave that area. Okay. And coffee, Sonic, and Chef Chow's coffee, Roku. I mean, this is this is getting crazy. That gateways is there, there, there. Open up. And chicken, okay. What I'm either, what I'm, Great Wolf Lodge, okay. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Freddy's, haven't been to one of those in a while. The Great Wolf Lodge, specifically. And Chicken Express, and Google Thing, and Amazon Prime. Coffee, Subway, my goodness, dude. Carport, Coffee, Fazoli, Sonic. What is very clear, immediately sticking out, and I don't know the financial situation, but you said you don't have an emergency fund. But we, if we don't have an emergency fund and we have dependents... We have dependents, yeah. including your grandma and two children, going to Fazoli's and getting coffee and Sonic and snow cones all within the same day and all these things. And I'm not going to go through this whole thing because this is pages and pages and pages and pages of pizza and coffee, endless coffee and snow cones and stupid coffee and Chick-fil-A and pizza. And this is going into gas stations all this crap i'm not going to go through this is pages and pages and pages spending so much money if we don't have an emergency fund we're not doing this especially with dependents because the safety net that is necessary for a good survival is much more important than a daily coffee a daily snow cone a daily water bottle from a gas station a daily chick-fil-a a daily this that this much more important than going to great with much more important than going to sea world so why are we doing all this? It sounds like you've learned the importance of having an emergency fund and all this stuff. You mentioned, well, I've been growing. I have more money on the side than I used to in the past. But this is clearly, if you know you need an emergency fund, why are we possibly doing this like five times a day? Well, that's recently. Like when I just started watching Oh, come you. on. No, I didn't. Well, when's, when's recently? Because this is recently. This is the middle of last month. I this month have been binging you probably for the last two three weeks Mm -hmm. um emergency fund to me was a three to six hundred dollars because we did that wasn't a thing for us so i didn't know what Mm -hmm. that was didn't know why why you would have that because to me i'm just like oh i lose my job i gotta go get a job because i've always worked like every every ability i've had to work i've always worked but my Okay, so the Great Wolf Lodge thing, Mm -hmm. that's because I've had two kids begging me to go, Mm -hmm. and you can only say no so many times. Kind of. I mean, you can say no forever, but I mean, I don't have kids, but what I will say is they might not understand it, and maybe a conversation eventually would have to happen. I don't think they're necessarily old enough to understand it, but hey, guess what? Us right now... Well, I don't even know how to say it to a little kid. To yeah, be no, but, it's hard. But but you know, you know that having an emergency fund increases their safety. And once you have an emergency fund or get out of, well, we don't, I don't even, I don't know what the debt situation looks like. But once we're in a better situation and we have a fully funded emergency fund, no debt, then is when go to Great Wolf Lodge every other week if you can yeah. afford it. I don't give it. But you can't do it now. 
Yeah. So I don't care if they're begging. I will say. Do you give them to a kid that cries in the grocery store every single time they want a candy bar? The big part with money with kids specifically Uh are kids that have money trauma. Mm -hmm. So like there are kids that um, grow up that are scared of money. Yeah. And from um, like constantly being told that they don't have money. And then there's kids that are obviously with money yeah. because they've always had too much money. So there's both d- drastic ways. Um, the boys came from a hoarding situation. Hoarding within the house? Yes. Okay. Um, so we used to, we were eating out all the time. And my grandma, oh, I don't know if she's going to watch this. She's sort of an enabler. Mm-hmm. Um, so we would go to Carter's every Tuesday because Carter's was half off. Carter's was no longer half off when I'm paying for absolutely everybody to go. Yeah. And uh, I also have two other adults and a baby living in the house that are not the two boys. Currently? And the grandma. Currently. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, and I don't want to say they don't work, but they don't work. Um, They might do DoorDash right now for like an hour a day, but I... Maybe a couple hours, but they they don't work. And that's not bashing DoorDash drivers, by the way. No. Do you? Um, No, I don't think anyone's. But, uh, so the eating, so, okay, well, the big issue with eating out is, with me, is it's mostly lunch. So Mm -hmm. I eat out at lunch at my job um, because cold food causes me to overeat. So, like, if I pack a sandwich, Mm -hmm. it doesn't do anything to me. So then I'll be like, oh, I'm still hungry. I'm going to go eat. But I bought a I bought a lunchbox okay. that heats up my food. Oh. I bought it last week. The only times I have not used it are when my boyfriend was here. And whenever um Fazoli's on Tuesdays is three dollars. So that's why I go to Fazoli's on Tuesdays. But <sighs> normally I go with somebody and he pays for it. I have a friend that I go with. Yeah, they so pay he, for it. That's fine. I, I'm going to use him. I'll use him and make him pay for my Fazoli's. Um, but that's what it is. is I won't miss Fazoli because it's $3 for like a full plate. And that's just such a good deal for me to just be out. Um, but also I don't have a problem making pasta and I can put it in my little, little heat thing. Yeah. Cause I was going to say pasta is like 50 cents. Yeah. Pasta is pasta so affordable to, but let's talk about that example you provided. You said some people come from no money. Some people come from a lot of money and it causes the different things yeah. and they come from a hoarding situation. Do they come from the no money side is what I'm, I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. But the, well, they came from a side that money stupid and you can steal what you want. No, no, they come from a set. Money wasn't a thing, but they somehow had hoverboards and trampolines, but they also played outside in a backyard with broken glass type situation. And there, there are ways to tell a child no without telling them no, Yeah. but it's very hard when they ask, 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 ask. And then it's really hard to not look a child in the face and be like, stop being selfish. Well, the I kids are selfish. I, uh, they okay. Are. They're, <laughs> sure. They're selfish because of so the background, like, but I mean, there is the way to explain. Okay, it might be time to start those conversations. So I do. About this so is Great that Wolf. Money. We last time we went was last year in March, so not a couple months ago, but like a year and a handful of months, whatever month we're in, right? Um, so we went then, and they have asked every single month since, and I have said no, we can't. Nope, you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait till it's cheaper, till I can get a deal on it. So when we went, I got the room for $260 and that paid for like the passes to it. But then I was like, since I got that affordably, let me pay for them to get the package, which gave them a bunch of extra stuff. And that made it a little bit more expensive. And I didn't know you could take food. And I had looked it up and I still didn't know if you could take food. So we did take food. We just didn't take enough to like feed four of us for however long we were there. Mm-hmm. So that's why we still did eat out while we, while we were there. Sure. SeaWorld was my grandma. She mm-hmm. wanted to go. And she, I believe she was going to pay for it. She ended up covering the other two adults that were in the house with us. And she paid me for her scooter because we had to rent her a scooter. Sure. And then all of the passes, the tickets that I got for that day, she paid for like upgrading them to season passes. So, like, that was her portion. The rental vehicle, nobody in my house could rent a car but me. So that's why the rental got put under my car. Did they pay you? 
I got, yes, I want, she paid me, I believe 600 back, whatever the actual rental was. And then the, you know, they gave me the, the deposit back for the car or whatever. The, the enterprise gave me the, you know, the deposit back. Um, but the, the great wolf I've been rejecting for so long, it was just really hard to, to keep doing it. Cause at, at some point it just seems, and I'm just like, it's really hard to be like, there are kids that'll never, ever, ever get to go here in their life. Please accept that y'all have gone. But then it makes me look evil for not giving them this like basic thing. Cause it's basic to them. Yeah. I definitely, I, I definitely get it. The only thing that scares me and kids might not be un- able to understand this and this is fine. If we get into a situation where we don't have money to cover like a major emergency and stuff like that, then that prevents like the next five great wolf lodges. Yep. So, I mean, I, again, I don't know how to approach those conversations with the kids. Uh, that is up for the individual who's taking care of them to understand. But I have another statement, and I do want to get into those other adults that are living with you, by the way, which we will. But uh, what the, you sent me screenshots of something. I don't know what it is. I think it's a credit oh, card. Yes, it's the Academy credit card. Again, I don't. The statement thing is so weird, but it's an Academy credit card, which is completely paid off. Okay. Um, I thought it was come. I didn't think I had interest yet. But I did when he told me to go look through. I had to go create an account. I had to call them to get in. Um, I definitely had interest on it. So I was like, oh, screw that. And I paid it off. It's done. I'm going to figure out if there's like a proper way to close it. What was the balance? Uh, Maybe in the fours. 400s? Maybe. Maybe when I sent it to you, it was 293. That's what I'm thinking. And I see you're spending at Academy Sports like every few weeks. So the reason I got an Academy card is because the boys weren't getting any funding at one point at all. Zero. Mm -hmm. So I got an Academy card to buy their clothes. Because their kids section, they still have like six, seven dollar clothes, mm-hmm. um, and then like shoes. They're in soccer, um, they're in swim, and uh, I also work outside. So like I need like waterproof shoes and stuff. Um, and I go through. I, ooh, I hate spending money on clothes and shoes. I hate it. Not for, not have for we the looked boys. At, like myself. goodwill and stuff as well. The problem with doing that with boys is they deserve to destroy a pair of clothes just like any other child because kids go through clothes a lot a lot really fast because they break them down i'm confused how that has well if you buy a broken down shirt it's already broken down like they don't another portion of that my grandma likes them to have new clothes well she can pay for it then but the other thing is but i don't care what she wants it (laughs) she can pay for it I i don't understand how what she wants you do That doesn't make sense. Nana is very particular on them having nice matching. Not even nice. Not nice like fancy. Well, fuck her. She can pay for it. I'm confused. Clean matching. She, and she does She does pay a lot of their clothes. Good. But that doesn't mean you have to do things. I'm not saying you can't even do this. I mean, we don't know your full situation yet. But still, her wanting something doesn't equal you yeah, doing it. Yeah. Um, and I get nervous about buying them used clothes because they're kids. What? It, and kids, also, kids. Goodwill prices suck. So to clarify... Oh, that was an example. There's garage sales and there's a lot of stuff. I'm not even saying you have to do that yet. Salvation Army. But they're kids. Yeah, I know. I know. And they're, they're not even in like that area where like people start caring about fashion in like middle school and high school. Yeah, they're in elementary that. school. It's if they have... I don't know how to explain it. It's I think it's just one of those things that like... They don't deserve this. The least I can do is oh, get them a nice it, outfit. It, that is don't, clean. don't think about it like that. It's not about deserve. It's not about deserve. You're in a loving spirit, and that's why, you know, it's hitting you emotionally. And I love that. I can respect that, and I do respect it. And I love that about you. That's a great personality trait. But I promise you it's not about deserve. It's not about deserve when it comes to that. You all deserve as a family to be in a better place financially before we start going down the rabbit hole of spending more monies. I'm sorry, guys. I'm an emotional sap. You do not have to be sorry. (laughs) I'm actually a co-crier, but for some reason, when, like, the cameras are on me, I'm in the zone of the episode. No, it's okay. makes sense. So, for some reason, I, like, can't tear up. I don't know why. (laughs) But, like, I am a crier in general in life, so I definitely get it. Things hit me easily. Um, Okay. So, this card's paid off. Yes. And uh, I'm going to figure out if there's a proper way to cancel it, to just close it all together. Do you have any other credit cards? Yes. One more. Oh. Um, and it's Ulta. I do not have interest on it, and it is not for makeup. Just to clarify that, <laughs> um, it's for shampoo and conditioner. 
and um, for yourself? Yes, but that is not why I originally opened the card. <laughs> is there a balance on there? Uh, $93 right now. Oh. But that's what it is. Um, Do you trust yourself with credit cards? Yeah, I pay them off. Okay. I've never had a late fee. I've never missed a payment. Um, I've paid them down every single month. The only one that took a minute was Academy when I first opened it. Because when I first opened it, I think it was like $600 that we put on it between Christmas because it was at Christmas time maybe when I opened it or a little okay. bit before that. So like we did like a full thing for the boys, like uh, like their whole new, because they started with nothing. They didn't have anything when I got them. Yeah, yeah. So um, we did a full like shopping thing for them and then Christmas came. And then, uh, like, work shoes. So that was all, like, at once. But I paid that off, I think, in, like, two months. So I've never held a balance on the card. Um, yeah. At least a big balance or anything. I've always paid way more than whatever the minimum is. And do then you, the Ulta gets paid off every month. Do you have any other debts? Do you have debts? I have a loan and my car. A, a loan and your car or a yes. loan on your no, car? No, 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 no. I have my car. And then I have a personal loan that I took oh, out. Oh, no. Because when I got the boys, we were going through something. Nana didn't have money. Uh, I was panicking. Is she getting Social Security? Yes. Okay. Um, she doesn't work, though. No. Okay. Um, but... What's this personal loan balance? Left is eight... Eight something. Eight hundred. No, 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 no. Oh. Eight hundred. It was originally a three thousand loan. Three thousand okay. dollar loan. And I pulled it out because... I, I was at a, a financial panic with the boys. Um, this is, again, where we have emergency funds. Awful loan. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm I, sure. It was uh, 17 interest Ooh. and 24 APR or backwards. It had APR and interest, but I don't know. So tw- it sounds like 24% interest. I mean, that's what okay. that would be. Okay, yeah. So I um, was like have made 17 months or something? several principal. That's the one that um, I have on my phone. So if you want me to pull that one up to show you. Well, do, well, do you know what the minimum monthly payment is? 150. Okay. And normally what I'll do is I'll pay the 150 and then I'll try to pay like 100 the next week. If I have any large income come in, um, like, or if I have extra, yeah. I'll pay like four or 500. I think I've done that twice. Um, and then that goes straight to, to principal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The car what's the car a 2023 highlander <laughs> so you've gotten this very recently i had a vehicle that i already had a loan out on and i traded it in i was four thousand up i needed a bigger vehicle i did not have to get a new car yeah you did not have but i had to have a bit bigger vehicle and i had I can vibe with the bigger vehicle thing. We did not have to get new. Though. No, yeah, no. I had to have a bigger vehicle, and the people I went through was the only way I was going to get kind of like a good deal on what I got. Why would you? Uh, what, what makes you think it was even we a good deal? Kind of had really good hookups with it. Like they've, what? They've helped me out a lot on my last two cars. Like what? Um, they both times have given me three thousand, four thousand dollars more than what my car was worth, which is really good. Sure. Yes. Confident. Yeah. But are you sure that price wasn't tacked onto the new car you're getting? Yep. What was the purchase now, price of this car? What I will, I am leasing it, mm. which means no interest, but I'm leasing it. Um, a lot of people are well, keeping upset they, about it. It's like baked in though. So right now, with my, I'm at twenty seven thousand for the three years, but. At the end of the three years, I can finance it or buy it out. Oh, yeah. I don't have to trade it in. And that's what everybody gets so offended about. They're no. just like, oh, if you're leasing it, oh, that you're never going to own it. And I was like, no, that's at the end of the three years. That's not how that works for leases outside of Tesla's. So I... Those people don't know what they're talking about. I do like the vehicle. What's so the monthly payment? 608. Oh, death. My car before oh. that was 568. And by the way, yes, you're not... So any fees and interest and stuff like that is baked in by the way throughout your entire lease term I, there's not interest on it that's you're, it's, you're not seeing it the same way as you would see with a car loan it's just already like on it's <laughs> baked in I mean I got, I got a bigger car for the, so the, the deal was I want the same like price it, I didn't I, I know it's going to sound dumb I didn't care about the overall price or care more about the monthly price I know 
but that's how they get people all together the car i want to say is 44 it's 44 all together and i'm leasing for that twenty seven thousand. yeah because well what and it's, then I, I you know i can keep it obviously well yeah but you're gonna have to pay at okay because you can get a used 2023 Highlander for 42000 right now, and you got brand new. Well, the issue that we had with ours, with the who I went through, they didn't have anything. That was the only thing they had on the lot. Um, this is where we go through someone different. Well, you can get a 20... I, it, it depends. So there are... I mean, you can get, like, a luxury platinum trim for forty nine. Like, what? Well, what is this? What's the... Where are you at? Because this can range from mid thirties to fifty. So I don't know if you got a good deal or not. I mean, it's a. I I don't. Some Highlanders only have two rows. Mine has three rows. What's the purchase price? Forty four. No, what's the purchase price when your lease is done? Oh, I don't. What's know. What's the buyout? Oh, I don't know. Because that'll tell us what's baked in. Yeah. No. To I don't know. what? I just know that the lease term is the twenty seven thousand. Yeah, but I, I want to know what the buyout is. Because that would tell us yeah. actually what's happening. I might have a way to figure out, but I'm not... Do you want me to look and see if I have a way to figure it out? Uh, I can make... I don't know. You're maybe. in it. You're in it at this I point. I am in it, and the possibility of me switching it is very, very low. I'll change everything else, but probably not the car. Why? Why do you care about it? Because so there's a lot... I take a lot of mental heat from a lot of people. Who? Everybody in my house. Oh, f*** them. It's not that... Mm -mm. Okay, well, let's talk about those people Do in your house. Do you want me to look it out? Look it up, though? Uh, it's Try fine. It, it's fine. If if we need to figure out that stuff, we, we can, but I think we're good for now. Okay. What are the, Who are these two adults in your house? My oldest brother and his wife. Jeez, okay. And they have a child. Yes. An infant. Yes. Oldest brother. Is this your place? Your place? Me and Nana rent it together. Okay, you and Nana rent it together. How many rooms? Four. Okay. So you, grandma, their kids, and the couple and a baby. Yeah? Yep. Uh, or sorry, your, your two youngest yep. brothers and then the couple and a baby. Are they paying rent? No. Okay. How old are they? 29 and 30. What's going on in their lives? They lost their apartment and just oh, lose it. showed up with us and then started staying there. How long has it been? Since December. Late November. Okay, okay. So, my guess is enabler Nana, who is co-leasing with you, is just going to allow them to stay no matter what. So, originally, the goal was to help them. She was sure. going to help them get their own place. Yeah. Um, and that has not happened, um, which is going to be very hard for them because they have an eviction. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't rent So, them. that means that Nana will have to be like the full person and they would have to be occupants. And that's the only way unless they get, you know, like, um, help, help, uh, like HUD housing or something. But I think that's a wait where we're at, uh, where they're from or where, you know, like their area They're in the like Arlington area. Um, I want to say we're on a wait in our area too. Um, so I don't know why progress hasn't been made. They can live with you until they can find another place. I, which is what I'm okay with. But they, they have, to, have, have a plan. to pay rent and they have to have a plan. So the rent issue mm -hmm. is because, okay, so Nana, I don't want to say recently came into a bunch of money, but recently came into a bunch of money. How so? She sold the house. Oh, very good. Yeah. Mm. Well. Um, so she was originally giving them finances from the house. Mm. And that. I don't think there's any more of it. No. So not. I don't. Nana still has some finance. So Nana paid off all the debt she had. She had about fifty, sixty thousand dollars worth of debt. Mm -hmm. So she paid off everybody that she had to pay, everything that she had to do. Um, gave them gave them money. I do not think they have any more. Um, and then I believe she's buying their car, and was going to be paying their rent for a year. Um. She's oh, wait, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So she paid our rent, our rent where we're at for the year and a half, but I am still covering mine. So Nana. Or do you guys split it on the middle? Yes. What's your portion? 900. Okay. You're in College Station? Yes. Okay. 
I this this is gonna sound I think kind of radical to you, but I think it's almost what you and your two younger brothers that you're taking care of need. Yeah, because you could have fifteen hundred bucks at most going to rent from yourself with what you work right now, but I wouldn't even I. I think it's better for going to be better for your situation and for those younger brothers' situations that you're now in custody of for you to get your own place. Well, right now I'm on a lease, so I have to at least finish out this lease. When, which I don't, when does it end? Mm, I think we, we still have like a, over a year. It was a two-year lease. What I would try to find a way to do is if older brother and wife and child wants to live there, Maybe they take your portion of the lease and you get your own place. It's going to be better. You can't be living with all these people. We can't be living in a household that's just pure chaos and where endless enablement is happening. You're not being enabled, but you cannot control the enablement of your older brother if your grandma's doing it. She's just doing it, and we just can't control their lives like that. This, I would want a more quiet, stable household for your younger siblings that you're taking care of. And, you know, I'm not an expert on that stuff in general, but we do, I mean, it's very instinctual. We know that being around all that enablement, being around the chaos of people in and out and everything like that, we want them to have a better future, and they can have that better future. I think it's better if your brother and sister take care of that lease. Now, how do we do that? I think the, and then you get your own place. I think the conversation, you need to have a sit down with Nana and we're saying, okay, they need to start taking care of their lives so they can actually have a future at some point. And right now, you know, maybe we short this video, uh, there's enablement going on and it is holding them back and it's going to hold them back for the rest of their lives that we've, you know, paid for their car, paying for the rent, or we've given them packages of money and all this stuff. What would make sense for your grandchildren, all the grandchildren, is if they took over our portion of the rent, which was 900, mm -hmm. 900, which two of them together could easily come up with, easily come up with in a college town doing DoorDash and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. If that's all they did, they could easily do that. And then once my portion is covered, I'm going to go sign a lease, another lease, and, you know, we're just going to start living life and of course you're not going to be out of their lives by any means you'll be in the same town you'll be close mm -hmm. you know we'll be hanging out having some group dinners and stuff like that it'll be fantastic but i think that's going to be pretty critical for your future and for specifically my mental future. health actually. oh absolutely that's the the biggest absolutely freaking literally and by the way not okay we do need to get you health insurance, and you do need to be going to therapy. Like, everyone in the world needs to be going to therapy. That's not just a you thing. Uh, oh, yeah, but no. it, it definitely should. It'll help you go through the situation and the relationships and everything like that as well. But this is a very difficult and interesting situation because it is all emotional. It is all relationships. And, yeah. I think they need to step up, take over your part. But that's hard because you Nana needs to 100% agree with this because if you push for it, but she doesn't and she continues to enable them, yeah. there's nothing. Do you think she could get on board? Well, so my biggest thing with leaving, because um, I, I, don't, I don't mind helping and I don't mind no, no. Uh, living with Nana because living with Nana is great. Like, um, So when I go to work, at Papa John's. I'm there all day on Sunday. And then when I get off of work on Fridays, yeah. I pick the boys up, leave them at home with her, and then I go to work until 1 a.m. But she can still watch them yeah. without you living so she, there. She's lovely to live with with that. And I'm so, I really am I'm so grateful for my girl. And she, oh, she, and she does a really good job helping with groceries. Um, she does pay for a majority. She also overbuys on groceries, though. So she's in, if she overbuys on groceries, she's in charge. Um, but like the random trips like in the middle of the week are me, and that's me doing like fruit and bread and milk like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, she it's a tricky situation it is and it's mentally it's a it's it's rough too um but that also leads me to the coffee go on so my boyfriend lives three hours away from me and 
y'all, I know three hours is not far, but you got to be built for long distance. And I am not built for long distance. You brew. So. And you oh, no, put no, no, in the thing. Okay. No, no, no. So he is passionate about coffee. Like, and he pays. Wants to make Sorry, a career out of coffee. Um, so we found a coffee shop that we both like. And it's, um, it's like a dumb thing that I share with him that just like gives us a dumb connection because we like live far away. Um, so that's the main reason for that is it's just something that I share with him because he's stupid obsessed with coffee. Uh, I'm so confused why he can't pay. Oh, because he's three hours away. I'm going by myself. Oh, but it's, what? I'm saying it's something that. And also, That's, it's something outside nah, nah, of my house. Nah. Yeah, parks and stuff are as well, and a lot of things. <laughs> I can't do that at 6 in the morning going to work with the boys. What? So I go before I go to work. So I take the boys, and that's my little stop. You don't need it, though. You can I No, I know. I know. And um, I did it this morning. Or I didn't go. I know that's not a big deal. Um, but it's doable for me to not go. It was just something that I shared with him. And like that I could tell him about. I know it's so dumb. Okay. Tell him about these fantastic beans that you got and grinded and brewed. That's <laughs> I what I do. Like and it's still like so that. much cheaper. <laughs> then stop getting coffee if you don't like coffee uh, like that. What? So this is stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. No, let's come on. I'm on your side like 99% here, but... Mm. <laughs> I don't think I got a 100% answer on will Nana be on board with talking to the older brother, wife? Uh, yeah. Um, them taking over my lease was probably going to be a no. Okay. Um, for but a couple of reasons. Emily's pain? Uh, it's the enablement and whatever. I mean, they're out of our lives. The thing is, I just don't want them to negatively impact you and then yeah. the younger siblings' lives. But we need to get them the heck out of there somehow. Well, that needs to be a conversation that y'all have as a family, though. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 yeah, it's difficult. Uh, how you doing? Fine. You okay. Yeah, I wish I didn't cry so easily. I'm such a sap. I'm it's so okay. sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry about it. There's nothing to be sorry about. How much you have in your checking account right now? Seven forty-eight. Into but the microphone. Seven forty-eight. Okay. But two payments just came out: one fifty and one hundred. For paying off the credit card. And, so uh, is the 700 after that or before that? After. Okay. Do you have any uh, savings of no. any kind? Okay. Then we... Okay. All right, here's what I'm going to need you to do. Here's your prescription from Dr. Hammer over here. <laughs> One, doing a budget for yourself in general. It's time we do a budget. Yeah. So my budget's great when it comes to bills. And With then I everything. normally don't no, budget I, out of that. No, no, no. So we're, I can we're doing do one. That. No, we're doing one entire budget. One entire budget. Your needs never exceed 50% of your income, of your post tax. Needs never exceed that. So you have to cut back on certain things. I don't think your needs at this point will exceed that. You're, it's three, four times a day we're going out and doing stuff. Yeah. What I'm going to need you to do for probably a month. No, no, no. Well, it's going to be a little longer than that. But for the first month, I'm sorry. We're just not doing those extra things unless someone's paying for it. Just for a month, because what you're doing is you're saving up $800 as quick as you can on top of the money you already have. Okay. And we're paying off the personal loan now. Okay. And you're, we're doing that by, because you have, a, you actually make good money. Yeah. Good money sitting in your account. This is all going to BS. Yeah. And we're not doing a Great Wolf Lodge. We're not doing a SeaWorld. We're not doing that until that's gone. Okay. And then what you should do with where you're at, with the, the people that are dependent on you, I would probably do $15,000 saved up as quick as you can. You put it in a high-yield savings account on the side, and you never touch it unless car breaks down, unless something medical happens, unless, you know, for some reason all their clothes burn and you have to go buy clothes so they can go to school okay. you know emergencies only emergencies only but the way you do that is for a few months because you have a good amount of disposable income and your needs are pretty limited your actual needs not like they need brand new clothes that's yeah. not 100 percent a need right now not we need fazolis even though it's only three dollars mm -hmm. we need this we need the nicest groceries whatever it is everything else 
outside of the budget that you design for what your needs are needs to go to save up 10 to 15,000 hours as quick as you can. Once you get there and you feel comfortable, then you can do max 50% on your needs, max 30% on your uh, wants. wants. You can go do that stuff. And I encourage, give them the time of their lives. They have a long time left before they leave the household. You can give them so much, but the quicker we get that emergency fund done and pay off that personal loan, it's incredible. We're probably paying this lease off until it's done. It was a stupid thing to get into, but you're already in it. And then once it's done, we need to make sure the math works versus the value of getting the car. Prefer preferably, if you're going to get it, you get it in cash by saving up before then. Kay. At that point, what's the lease? Three year? Four yes, year? Yes, three year. Okay. So maybe we save up enough to buy it out or save up to enough to get a $15,000 car in cash, which okay. will probably be just as nice at that point as the car you have now uh, once you know that time period ends. Either way, once you have those savings done and the bad debt paid off, you can just have fun. And I highly encourage it. Go crazy. Well, not go crazy. Max 30%. Yeah, no. <laughs> but one thing I need you to do is you need to start investing. You're 25. So, I mean, you're young. But we need to start saving up and investing because now that they're fully custody, you know, under you and stuff like that, we don't want them to have to be taking care of you when you're in Nana's age versus you'll be able to self-sustain, you'll be able to fully retire, and you can give back and all this stuff to them, to their kids and all this stuff. And it's just big, they happy family. Oh, yeah. well, to their kids. No, I hope they don't have kids. Oh, they're so young. You don't know what they're going to be like as adults. Awful. Yeah, I mean, kids are terrible, and I can't stand the noise and smell they make. But either way. You will be set up and they won't have to take yeah. care of you. And this is called being a mature parent. Yep. And you've just stumbled into this. So I'm okay with where you are uh, in general, having not prepared much. You, this, All this has landed in your lap. And I respect the shit out of you. You're yeah. doing incredible things. We just need you to take control of your financial situation now. And you're going to be set well if you actually do. Truly budget. Never overspend in those categories, get that emergency fund, pay off this personal loan, start investing 20% a month, a year, to retirement, Okay. and you'll be in a good place. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. I'm here for it. What's going to What's gonna happen with uh, the conversation with Nana and these uh, other adults that live in your we'll place? We'll talk about it. We'll see where the conversation goes. Because I've tried to have the conversation more than once. Um, and I've tried to have the conversation with them also. It just kind of gets ignored and shut down. Um, and it's, what's going to happen is I'm going to be the bad guy. I'm going to be the selfish person that doesn't want to help her family. And that's and fine. That's okay. that isn't doing enough. Um, and I'm they, not doing good enough in life. If that's they, what's going to turn no, into. If they ever grow up, they'll see. So, but if they're not, who cares what little children think? And they're acting like little children. How do you feel about the cutting back on all the daily coffees and everything like that? Oh, I don't care. Temporarily, please, no, I please really don't do not care. care. Oh well, I, do I don't not know. Care. I don't know because that stuff can become almost kind of uh, daily life addicting. Well, yeah. So the the coffee thing, I know it sounds stupid on your end. It's just something I shared with a partner that he also has a passion for. That's fine. And again, you so, can get there soon, but just cut back on it now. Cut back on all the eating out. Cut yeah. back on getting the water and all that um, stuff. And there. like I said, I bought the heating up lunchbox. That was a big deal because that was my issue. Like if I wanted to, like you always tell people to pack a sandwich. And I'm just like, I literally can't. It's just going to cause me to overeat. Even if I pack two sandwiches and like double the lunch, it does not do what I need it to do. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to go get something. I'm like, no. Nope. Or and like if I, if there's food at home, like I'll try to go home and eat, but I can only do that if it's on my route. Just make sure so, you pack lunch, pack yeah, snacks. Yeah, no, it's been working since Good. I've been doing it. The the lunchbox. It's, I'm very excited about the lunchbox. It's really Good. cool. Um, I, I've, I mean, I've got to do it multiple times now. So, Any final thoughts? No. Good. Hanging in there. Rocking out. <laughs> For Mary, that's an incredibly complicated situation. And there's this, this is all about relationships. And I hope she's able to have some real conversations with Nana and uh, her older brother. And I hope that they all have a great life. And 
Yeah, I hope everything goes well. For her Hammer financial score, spending within a budget, 3 out of 10. She certainly spends a lot every single day going out. So if she can contain that, that'll drastically improve her life. Debt, 4 out of 10. I mean, that $800 personal loan, it's terrible, but it's low. She can kill it pretty quickly. The lease is something I would have not ever gotten into or advised her to get into, but she did. It is what it is. Debt, 4 out of 10. Retirement. Nothing, zero out of 10. Emergency fund, nothing, zero out of 10. Real estate, nothing, zero out of 10. So that aggregates down to a 1.5 out of 10, and I hope she increases that, and we'll have a follow-up and see if she has that fully funded emergency fund and no more personal loan in like six months or so. Make sure to check out all the resources in the description below, and do not forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Thanks.